Robert Creighton is knocking him dead nightly in Cagney at the Westside Theater. I'm next door at Bia to catch up with the song and dance man all about the hit off-Broadway musical. Hey, Bobby. Hi, Matt. Thanks for taking time out to do this. Are you kidding? Here at the Love corner it. table. This is like the power table, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely at the power table. I might not get this if you weren't here in the camera, so this is good. <laughs> well, we're talking about Cagney, which I just saw again. I love so much, Thank you. and the audiences are eating it up. It's amazing. Uh, uh, you hope a show is going to be received in a certain way, but it really has been thrilling the way people are receiving it. Now, young people don't necessarily remember James Cagney, but there's still this following for this iconic actor. Yeah, one of the things I learned early on when I started creating this was because I was just a fan, and then I started collaborating with people who knew how to make musicals, and they're like, you have to make it so if someone comes and doesn't know who Cagney is, they still have to relate to this story and get right. on board. You know, the Cagney fans are loving it because we throw in all these little Easter eggs for them and I do little things that no one else would know are Cagney mm -hmm. things. Um, but young people are, with the tap dancing and the, they're, you know, and he, he just doesn't like bullies and that's a good, well, that's a good thing right now in our world. Sure, totally <laughs> you know? universal. Yeah. So as you mentioned, you are the co-creator of this show. So how does it feel for you to be in a show truly tailor-made for you? It feels amazing. There's no other way to say it. I mean, this is a dream that started in my head. And the fact that people are buying tickets and sitting in the seats. And, you know, when I first felt my connection to Cagney, when a teacher said to me, you remind me of Jimmy Cagney, I started watching films. I, uh, you know, and then this, this light got lit in me that I'm going to create a show about his life. It's just the right time for me to be doing this part. It's a total, I mean, total dream come true category. There's no other way to say it. All right, let's go back to that teacher who said that mm -hmm. you reminded him or her of mm -hmm. Cagney. What, how did that come about? How old were you? Uh, 22, I think. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, he said, you, he owed Jack Milano's and he always carried a pencil. He said, you know, you know who James Cagney? I said, well, I know Yankee Doodle Dandy. He said, you look like James Cagney. You like to tap dance. You should explore him. He's a very good actor, very good actor. And so I started watching these movies. And you know, when you're in acting school, you just, you're all about craft and wanting mm -hmm. to, you know, and analyzing things. And I was like, man, this guy was ahead of his time as an actor. Never a false word out of his mouth. And then started, uh, you know, reading about his life and who he was as a humanitarian, this didn't like bullies thing and all that stuff. I was like, man, great guy. Kind of a guy's guy, but loved to sing and dance. A tough and, guy who can dance. Yeah, and that's, I, I'm, I don't pretend to be a tough guy, but I, you know, I was really into sports and all this other stuff, but I, my favorite thing was the tap dance, you know, so. Uh, he was like, I just related yeah. to him. So that's how it started, this acting teacher. And then I just sort of went on this journey. And all right, we have to talk about the hair. Because yeah. now, hey, Red. Yeah, Red, hey, many, don't call me Red. <laughs> um, every three weeks I get it done. And uh, I go to this great gal I've been going to for years. And, and sometimes it's a little more um, drastic than others. A little brighter. Yeah, sometimes it nails it. And sometimes <laughs> it's like very red. <laughs> well, if you're going to play Cagney, you have to be a redhead. My cast likes making fun of me when on hair dying days. It's fine. <laughs> Well, that's just one aspect of, of Cagney, not, not just being a redhead or an Irish no. guy or a tough guy. But I think a lot of people think of him as a tough guy, not necessarily as a song and dance man. Uh -huh. I feel like that's his legacy in some ways. Quintessential tough guy, I think, in the films, and so good at it. But I think he was partly so good at it because he came from that background and the way he moved and he, he wasn't your... Like a fighter. Like a fighter, light on his feet, even mm -hmm. no matter how dark the character was, he was... He had all these little quirks that he did on purpose. His hands are so unique, the way he stands. He, he talks about in his own book, Cagney by Cagney, how um, you know, his palms face his thighs. Like most people, they hang beside you. Mm -hmm. But if I'm you stood there, yeah, exactly. And if you stood there, next time you stand up, mm -hmm. put your, just put your palms out in front and mm -hmm. hang them towards you and lean forward a bit. All of a sudden, you look like Cagney. You too. You can you do this can, at home. You can do it. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Don't believe me, I'm in front of me going, oh yeah, I look like Cagney. <laughs> okay, we have to talk about the cast recording. You, yeah. You, you recorded this summer. And doesn't that kind of just make it all real? Yeah. It's like very people real. are gonna listen. Like my kids will this grow up legacy, when they're adults. Bobby. Like, I know that you, you've, you've been an actor forever. Yeah. But this, in many ways, Truly. is what people really are gonna think about. And that's okay. With, you. Are you, you okay know, with like, that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I'll go on to lots of other things. And, of course. But uh, I'm totally fine with that. Like I feel like I hitched my wagon to the right horse in this man mm -hmm. and telling of this story. And I feel like I was. It's part of what I was put here to do. And people are responding to it with such joy, leaving the theater. It's. I'm totally fine with that. And the cast recording, which we spent, uh, I think, three weeks ago, all day on our day off recording, um, comes out se September 30th on iTunes mm -hmm. and in the theater. And then Octo 
October 14th in stores. So you can bring home a little piece of Cagney? Yeah, and it's got you know our original score, and then it's got these classic George M. Cohan songs and a lot of tap dancing on it, which they don't always do. You, you recorded good. the tap dancing? Uh -huh. How yes. much fun is Much that? Much to my knees chagrin in the studio, but, um, but it's very old school, beautifully done. Uh, uh, Broadway Records, Van, uh, Van and, and Mike Kreuter produced it, and um, it's, uh, yeah, I'm truly excited because it is, it's like forever now, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that you said old school because this is kind of an old school show. It is. It's a real meaty character yep. and you're telling a story that people really care about. You know, that's what I grew up dreaming of doing. I was either going to be in the NHL, you know, I'm from Canada, I was going to be a right. goaltender in the NHL or I was going to be on Broadway doing song and dance stuff. That was my, those were my two dreams. So at least Oh, we're so lucky you're not in the <laughs> NHL. <laughs> so is the NHL. <laughs> Never would have made it. Look at this. But I'm happy I'm here. Well, thank you so much for coming next door and hanging oh, out great. with us. Good. Thank you. This was fun. <laughs> thank you. Mwah. Guys, go see Cagney and get the album because yeah. it lasts forever.